to do this to the goalkeeper, yeah? I feel like you just disrespect players on the pitch all the time. <laughs> Every game that we go, we don't go for a draw. We always go to win. Kanu, an absolute pleasure having you here to do. It's basically an Arsenal, this is your life, yeah? We're going to go through your life as an Arsenal player <laughs> um, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And um, I have to tell you that like, one of my earliest memories is of you, yeah? Of course, African like me, my dad absolutely loved you. And the thing is, he supported Manchester United. He didn't even support Arsenal. And he still loved me. Oh, he said, every time he saw it, he's like, Kanu! I can just remember his face all the time. Um, and it's an absolute pleasure going through your life as an Arsenal uh, player. Um, but here we've got a lovely picture of you, a young, a young Kanu, just signing for the Arsenal. What would you feel about on this day when you signed for the Arsenal? It felt good in the sense that um, I was in Inter Milan and yes. um, wanted to make the move. Yeah. And Arsenal showed more interest than any other club. Um, Arsenal have been calling me for almost six months, yeah. so I know that truly he wants me. Yeah. And uh, I made up my mind and so I have to come and uh, play over here. What was the, the impact in Nigeria? Because, of course, you know. Nigerian coming to England to come and do his thing in the Premier League. What was the, did you feel the impact of that, the Nigerian people, did they love that you signed for Arsenal? Um, I would say yes, uh, because they wanted to see me back. And uh, in Italy it's uh, totally different. Uh, but when I came here, I saw there's a lot of Nigerians here. And um, in terms of uh, Nigerian food, yeah. you don't have to look too much, you, you see. <laughs> you know, you can see yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of calls. Um, coming in a lot of letters from all over Africa yeah. and um, I haven't even played any game oh, wow. but it was like congratulations yeah, yeah. we're happy for you <laughs> so I said oh, this is how we are I have to do, have to do something for them yeah. <laughs> but now I want to have a look at your first goal do you remember scoring your first goal how do you feel I feel good and I feel like nah I'm now I'm now I've opened up and then the more we keep coming yeah. because the first goal is very, very important. Uh, you have to do everything to see that you score. Um, not only for yourself, for the African continent, for your fans all over the world and also for Arsenal fans yeah. because they want to see what you can do. And you see the score here. That's, you see the disrespect <laughs> that you're doing here, yeah? How, how do you even think I'm going to do this to the goalkeeper? Is it just an instinct thing? Uh, the truth is that when I train, uh, if you watch me train and if you ask any player, <laughs> they will tell you there's no player who does a lot of magic stuff in the training than yeah. me. <laughs> and the good thing about me is that what I do in the training, I do it in the game. Yes. And um, when that was coming, of course, it depends on where, how you see yourself. Uh, but for me, I create things, I do things that people tend to ask, how did it happen? And, and this is one of my best goals. People don't normally talk about this. Yeah. This, is one of, this is the most difficult goal I've scored. Because if you look at that, I was up, I have to flick it. You have to come back, you have to flick it back. <laughs> and it's not close, not really close yeah. to the keeper. It's rather well far. A lot of people score this goal, but to score it inside. But I, mine was like outside, so it was difficult. But when it goes in, I was like, oh. Listen, you can see it's paused, yeah? We're about to see one, probably one of the greatest games you've ever played with let me set the picture we're two nil down at Chelsea yeah and you go and do this absolutely wonder you score a hat-trick against Chelsea and uh it's probably one of the best hat-tricks I've seen look at this touch but then to do this to the goalkeeper yeah I feel like you just disrespect players on the pitch all the time <laughs> look at this look what you do here I just love it I absolutely love it how did you feel two nil down did you feel like you was going to get a hat-trick that day um, like I said, uh, the Arsenal spirit, um, if you are playing with that team, that team is a team that doesn't want to lose, that don't, doesn't give up until the whistle is blue, that then we know that ah, we lost or we win. But uh, if you watch us in the training, in, in the training ground, you know that oh, we're all fighters, yeah. we're all warriors, we don't, um, we don't want to lose, we don't want to lose. And, um, the same spirit is what we take into the game. We are two done, and um, after the first half, um, we are the whole place. Yeah, what was the conversation like? It's not like uh, we came in and everybody was like shouting against each other. No, no, no. Like I said, it's just one few words that said, this is not us. 
if I ask any fan, coming back 2-2 was enough for us. If you ask the coaches and the people sitting on the bench... Like you said, it was a hard place to go to, yeah. 2-2 was OK. Um, but um, I produced one of the best in the world because whoever watches this game or sees this goal will definitely tell you whenever they're talking about hard tricks, this one will be part of it. Before the game, um, the Nigerian player, Babayaro, was telling them, um, be careful of Kanu. And uh, he got one ski that he drags the ball and then... Yeah. So when we... The goalkeeper wasn't listening. <laughs> when we came in, the defenders came to me and they said to me, today, we know what you're going to do, you're not going to do it. So we're laughing over it That's and okay. then the game started. <laughs> but I knew, 2-2, two, two, they forgot. Mm. All the stuff they knew it's about Kanu. You know? <laughs> so for him on that line, to dribble him on the line is very, very difficult. Yeah. But I did it full of confidence and uh, believing in yourself. And I know that I do things that people always ask of. I have to now try it. And uh, he walked out. Oh, man. Absolutely amazing goal. Special goal um, and a special game, special hat trick. Of course, we won the league at um, Old Trafford. And I have to say, of course, Walter gets the goal. But this celebration, for a long time, I thought you had super legs. <laughs> because I thought that you jumped over Walter. Look, we're going to see it right here. I didn't know that he went down to his knees. I thought he was fully standing and you jumped over him, yeah, for a long time. So I said, I said, can't you? He's Superman. He has to be. Um, but yeah, you won the league at Old Trafford. What was it like winning the league there? I think that's the best place to do it. Yeah, I mean, tell me about it. Oh. And uh, a lot of fans to still talk about it. And uh, to go to Old Trafford, which is a difficult place, and then win the league over there, celebrate over there, yep. and then you've done a lot. <laughs> so going up to the game, was you guys confident that you could, you could get a result there? Like I said to you, every game that we go, uh, we, we don't go for a draw. Yeah. We always go for, to win. Uh, that's the difference now. We go to win, and uh, if a draw comes, we take it. But normally, we go for it. And uh, everybody believes in that, and everybody wants that. And even if we are down, we look at each other, and we know we're not, we have to, and we change it. And of course, we celebrated uh, winning the league unbeaten. What was it like going a whole season unbeaten and winning the league? If you ask me, nobody was like thinking about that. No. We were like only playing. So when Arsen said it to you, what, what was your first reaction? And then, like I said, none of the players were like sitting and said, no, oh, we don't need to lose because we're going to create history. Or no, no, it wasn't like that. It was like every game that comes step by step, we take it in and then. But like I said, in training, if you ask any, any player, if we're playing five for side, seven against seven, a game, yeah. nobody wants to lose. Everybody get used to that, and um, what we do in training is what happens in the game. Yeah. It's something that um, after all said and done, that yeah, they came to us as oh, invisible, yeah. or this, or that. It was like, oh, yeah. oh. Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this, <laughs> you know, going through your memories as an Arsenal player, like I said. My early memory is Kanye 25. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I remember the most. And to have you sitting in front of me, um, my dad would be so proud. <laughs> Thank so, uh, you very yeah, much. it's been absolutely love. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>